a new home for a popular pro-am basketball league. Next. And welcome to the Stan Simpson Show, a program about Connecticut people and compelling issues. Make it a point to drop in every week after a temporary crisis about finding a new home in the popular, the popular Greater Hartford Pro-Am Summer League is back. It will remain in the capital city. Its new home will be Classical Magnet School and Summer Hoops is already underway. League founder Pete Higgins and Commissioner Eric Crawford join us for a talk about the evolution of one of Hartford's best summer attractions. <laughs> then we'll wrap things up with the founder and publisher of a new Connecticut-based Latino-oriented website. Diane Alvario talks about the vision for ctlatinonews.com. But first, Summer Hoops is back. We got the commissioner, Eric Crawford. We got the founder, Pete Higgins, Greater Hartford Pro-Am Basketball League. As we tape right now, games are going on. You guys were gracious enough to rush over here to talk to us, so we appreciate that. You got the new sneakers here. I'm looking at the sneakers. You must have a sneaker sponsor. Both of you kicking new shirts. Show them the sneakers. Both of you got new new sneakers. Didn't bring none for the so, so I'm assuming you got a sneaker sponsor for part of this league, right? Well, I wish we had. I mean, we got a title sponsor. And, yes. You know, and State Farm. I mean, they've been generous with us. You know, they understand the importance of the pro-am to the community and the number of people who come out and enjoy. So, and and they've been excellent. Pete was the one who put that deal together to get them involved in the title sponsor. We truly appreciate it. And the big issue was finding a home. We had you guys on a few months back. The, the crisis yeah. at the time yeah. was that there was no home. The Sports Science Academy, you guys had outgrown that. It really became so popular they mm -hmm. couldn't have, uh, afford or couldn't uh, accommodate the size. Right, so you have to rush for a new home. Why Classical Magnet, which is not that big of a gym, nice gym, but it's not necessarily a huge. What made that more appealing? I mean, Classical is, is really not that much uh, smaller than Sport and Medical Sciences Academy. It's only a difference of 50, I believe, hmm. uh, via the capacity. But um, the wood floor was the main reason. We could have took it to Buckley or even Weaver, one of the larger venues, but we wanted to keep the players safe. That was our main issue. We wanted to keep the top caliber players coming down. You know, of course, the, the UConn guys. Right. We got Gomes, Kemba Walker, and those guys. So we want to keep them coming, keep them comfortable, make them say, look, I, this is my opportunity to give back to the capital city in Hartford. So. And, and those guys won't play on a tile floor or a rubber floor, right? It's, uh, no, it's, it's a lot of contractual right? issues there, so we want to, you know, keep them happy, you know. So that's that's where we had to go. Classical has a wood floor, and we're still in the capital city. So, so you have a wood floor. Thing. You got a signature sponsor. You guys are rolling right now. I mean, you about to go ahead. You should put on autopilot <laughs> right now. You can come here and do the show. The league runs by itself, right? Yeah. Well, we're getting everything cracking. We, we, um, you know, just getting people, you know, via the via the viral um, statues to to get them to know we're at the new venue. The you social know, media is big for you yeah, guys. Yeah, this is big right now, but we, we're going to get do some TV commercials. Hot 937 is back on board, yeah. so you're going to hear it blasted out on there. And um, Make sure you, you know, like the it's going to be packed. We, we, it's slow right now because a lot of people just getting familiar, like, hey, Pro Am, new venue, hmm. Because they got kind of used to sports. And sports was a great venue. But classical, we, we were there in 08, and uh, we did a championship there. We had a packed house, so we know. Familiar it, territory. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. so who can folks can they expect to see this year? Who's some of the big names you have lined up for us? Well, I think a lot of times, um, you know, we had such great success the last couple of years with Kemba, Lamb. Kemba Walker, right? Yeah, right. all those Lamb. guys. They're in the NBA now, and right. their schedule is somewhat full. They won't be as accessible as they were the last few years. I mean, it was magical last year. UConn was coming off a national championship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, people were just in love with Kemba. So, I mean, he he, he done a lot for the Greater Hartford Pro-Am. And I think we spoiled the fans somewhat. Yeah. Now you got your people like Karan Iverson, who's around, one of the top high school players in the country, along with some of the other. Uh, Ryan Gomes will be back. Um, Kemba, when he's in the area. Right, Gomes from Waterbury, right? Gomes Went to Providence, Waterbury. right, Kemba? So, you know, those guys have always been big supporters of the Pro Am. So we just hope that, you know, with the change of venue, that people will follow us. To Woodland Street, 85 Woodland Street. <laughs> Put those plugs in there. And, and it's free, right? Free of charge to the public. It's free. Right? Um, we have the NCA certification. So, like all the new incoming uh, guys, like the, uh, what's the kid, Omar Calhoun? Mm -hmm. He's, gonna, he's, he's supposed to be in highly touted. New he's going to be playing. Okay. Absolutely. And um, 
Drum is supposed to be down too. Uh, you know, Drummond, the big I've been man. watching the summer pro league. I he, saw him there the other night. He right, was there, he's right? playing very well. He's with the Detroit Pistons, so right. we, we anticipate all these guys coming down. We, we want again. This venue is going to keep them comfortable. It's going to keep them happy, and they have no problems with doing their thing and you know having fun. That's you know, what it's been about. to many of the games down there. It's a diverse crowd. It's yes. safe. It's free. I mean, it really is. Annually, one of the better more consistent summer attractions right. in the city. Do you think that's recognized by the powers that be? Because uh, yeah. um, it really is year in and year out one of the better attractions. I, I think when we got into the situation where we almost didn't have it this year, the mayor came in at the last second and offered his support. And the mayor's the type of person who's going to do his homework first mm -hmm. before he lends his support to anything. And, and he talked to quite a few people and they expressed to him this is a, a great event for the city and he threw his support behind it. He's the one who Got his cat, um, classical, sorry, class, classical high school, and he also threw us a significant amount of money because he knew we were way behind in our sponsorship. We couldn't ask people for money if we didn't have a venue. Right. Mm -hmm. So he recognized that, and we're very appreciative for him, and I think the community is extremely appreciative to um, the mayor. So the next step now for you guys is what? As you, you the league is set now, you're getting rolling. As you evolve uh, quickly, what do you hope to do the next couple of years of the league? Oh, wow. I mean, if we can expand, we're, we're hearing little inklings about putting them wood floors in some bigger venues now. Okay, like Perhaps you. Buckley High School. Um, okay. You know, so we, we, we want to be able to support them with those endeavors too, whatever fundraisers we can come up with, because we know at the end of the day, the larger we get, we're going to have to be, we're going to outgrow classical soon too. And the games so, are when Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, right? Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays until the playoffs. Right. And then we're going to throw right. in a couple Tuesdays. They can check the paper for the schedule. Absolutely. All right. I want to have you guys handicap some of the alum. Yes, some guys in the pros now. A lot of guys. Let's start with. Uh, you know, Marcus Camby, back in the day now, right? He just signed, re signed with the New York Knicks. Let's talk about quick thoughts on Marcus Camby. Back in the day, he was a guy who played in the league. And give me your thoughts on him. I mean, Marcus is, is that consummate pro. I mean, he's been doing it what he's been going on 16, 17 years. Be right. And I remember when he was a Nick back in the day. I'm, I'm one of the probably last Nick fans on earth. I'm a Nick but, fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, he was MVP of the uh, tournament there. Right. I mean, not the tournament, the uh, playoffs. And uh, he played very well. Hartford guy, right? Yeah, Weaver, Hartford guy. With the Weaver yeah. Buckley. Where did Marcus go? Hartford High. Hartford, Hartford High, Public School. High School. Made yeah. a lot of money, right? Done well. That's All right. right. How about That's Jeremy right. Land? A couple of UConn guys now. Jeremy Land, a, a right. G, a Greater Hartford Pro Am alum. I he mean, now Jeremy Land is he's a bona fide scorer. Right. I mean, and uh, he put up 60, he tore it up last year, right, with you guys. 63 points in a game last summer. So we, we expect great things from him. Long arms. His wingspan has got to be about you know, seven feet or whatever, but as, as a six-five player, I think that's outstanding for them to have as a guard. So he should be doing well. Andre Drummond. Uh, big boy. Very athletic. Awesome kid. Yeah. Awesome kid. I mean, that's the... Started early with you guys, right? Young started your right. league, right? Yeah, he started probably when he was 15 years old, first playing. Now, so. have you ever had this guy here, a guy named Ray Allen? Oh, absolutely. You ever had, he, so Ray, now talk about Ray real quick. Now he's is, been. Is he with Miami? He's with Miami now, right? I mean, I want him to get another ring. But, he, mean, but he played also in the pro-am back in the day. Ninety-eight, yeah. Right. When uh, that was a lockout year too, so we were at Buckley that year, so they kind of snuck in. Contracts weren't as stringent then. <laughs> Tell me a quick story about Ray, real quick. We have about fifteen seconds. We're wrapping. Give me some oh. a quick comment on Ray. Ray, I tell you, he, Ray. I mean, nobody works harder than Ray. I mean, he, he's about his business, and his business is basketball right. and giving back to the community. And, you know, if kids could just pick up on what he's about and what he stands for, this community would be a lot better off. All right. So, Pete Higgins, we have Eric Crawford, folks, Greater Harvard Pro-Am. When we come back, we'll talk to public relations consultant and former journalist Diane Alverio about her new launch of a Connecticut-based website that focuses on the Latino community. You're watching the Stan Simpson Show. Catch us 247ctnow.com slash Stan. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Don't go away.